we are herd animals. So that means that we need attention, approval, and acceptance from the herd so that on Maslow's hierarchy of needs, the first rung is met, which is our safety. Once we feel safe, everything else from there grows. Uh, being able to actualize our full potential and being creative and all this other stuff. But we can't do any of that until our basic needs of safety is met first. In order to feel safe, we need attention, approval, and acceptance. Now, I'm sure there's somebody in this audience right now is going, oh, I don't need any of that. Well, you do because you're a human being. We all crave it. And when, once you understand that, you can use that to your benefit. You can use that to your advantage. All right. So how do we get the attention, approval, and acceptance that we need? Well, how we go about doing that changes. As AJ mentioned, for a lot of people, the first way they learn to get attention from people is to cry. When you're a child, that gets you attention. And then you learn from that. And then as a child, you learn that you have this magical power that anytime that you start crying, throwing a tantrum, whatever you need to do, that you are going to get the attention that you desire. And for some of you, you've never left that first <laughs> learned pattern. In fact, we can see it on social media times where people seem to post their new element every day, right? In order to get attention. It may not be the attention that you need or uh, attention that is good for you, but you have to understand that it's attention nonetheless, and that's why it is so powerful. And for some people, bad attention is as good as good attention. In fact, there is a, when it comes to entertainment, there's an old law that still very, very relevant to this day that all publicity is good publicity. So when, we are in a state of crying to get attention as a kid. Some of us break it because our parents, maybe they've gone through sleep training. Maybe our <laughs> parents have just grown tired of the tears. will no longer respond to just you crying. So as a child, you are still craving attention. So you will come up with new strategies to get your parents' attention. Sometimes it's doing exceedingly well in sports, in school, with your homework. It's performance driven. And guess what? That'll often carry on into your career. Many of our successful clients are seeking that attention, that approval, and that acceptance through hard work, through grinding it out, through excelling in their career. And then they will come to us and be frustrated that that excelling in my career does not lead to quality relationships in other areas of my life. People don't want to talk about your Ivy League background. People don't really care about just how well you did on that last consulting project. But these are, again, patterns and strategies that are shifting and evolving as we evolve, again, chasing that value from others. All right, so that's attention. So we should move on to the next one, right? The yeah. other one is approval. So the mechanisms are the three A's, attention, approval, and acceptance. We define those three things as value. And for low value behaviors, it's how do you get that value that allows you to feel good. That feeling of good is that you're accepted by the herd. So that means that you are safe. That's how it all works. So the next one, we've already talked about acceptance, is going to be approval. Now, approval is about the decisions that you are going to make in life that are going to, one, give you an identity, it is going to put food on the table. It is for you to articulate your worldview in which others are going to be able to connect. All of these things put you in a place where you have to make decisions on how you want to go about it, the path that you choose. Now, having those many forks in the road and all of these decisions, you're looking around at the other folks in the herd going, which one should I take? And they're like, uh, take the one you think is best. Now, some of those choices are going to lead to a lot of approval. Some of those choices 
They're not going to lead to any. In fact, we had just done a wonderful interview with Todd Cashton called The Art of Subordination about choosing the path that is right for you, but may not have the acceptance from everybody else and how hard taking those, those lone roads are at times. Now, how you go about getting that approval is just as important as how you go about getting that attention. Mm -hmm. But approval is more than attention. Attention's looking at you, it's listening to you. Approval is when they actually start to appreciate you. They start to pay even more attention to you. They start to agree with you. Now, you can start to see how these, these things build. And when you build a life around chasing this from others, well, that's going to be a lot of work. <laughs> and it's also going to start attracting people who are also chasing it for the right and wrong reasons. Now, acceptance, right? The third level of this is when you actually form those bonds, those connections, those relationships. So obviously we have getting people to give you the thumbs up on Facebook, maybe comment on your Instagram post, get slam the heart on your TikTok. Yeah, that's a little bit of attention, right? mixed in with some slight approval. Now we're talking about acceptance. We're talking about inviting you on the boat trip. We're talking about going on the date with you. We're talking about welcoming you to the team, bringing you on board in the ax throwing club. Being invited to the party. That is acceptance. We all crave it. Every single one of us craves it. <laughs> 